Hi everybody, it is me, the fabulous Leo Brown. And no, I am not on screen. I am um I'm not on screen because quite frankly I don't feel like being on screen, I'm just gonna be honest. And also I look a, a fool. So it's around twelve fifty at night. Um I'm about to actually go to bed. But before I hit the pillow, I wanted to come on here and talk about the comments that our, you know what, I'm not going to say that, that for some, uh, the present commander-in-chief has made, because I don't consider this man, um, or this person, this entity, I don't consider this entity a presidential, uh, a president of mine, he does not represent America, I think he represents a certain part of the country, uh, but not all of it. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mr. Trump. He made some disparaging remarks about, uh, as he called it, shithole countries. Countries like Africa, like Haiti, I think Venezuela was one. And he pretty much said that, you know, we should send, you know, why can't we work with countries like Norway? Well, Norway, you know, I have news for you, Mr. Trump, sir. Norway does not want you. Okay, the UK doesn't want you. Okay, uh, no country worth their salt wants you. And 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 my thing is this: if you support this man's rhetoric, why are we? Why are you on my channel? I I I don't agree. I will never agree with this man's rhetoric at all. Because first, let's let's just start from the beginning. First, he painted with a very broad brush. Okay, that's like saying all women are weak. All women need a man. All women, um, let me see, what's something? All women, all women are good for is procreating if they have kids. That's a very general and very sexist statement. Those are very general and very sexist statements to make. That's not true. Not all women want men. Not all women need men. Not all women want kids. Okay? So, you know, let's 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 get that straight. Um, and secondly, every country, every city, every place you go, no matter how you know we want to glamorize it in our minds, has shitty parts of it. There are shitty parts of St. Louis. There are shitty parts of Texas. There are shitty parts of Florida. There's shitty, there are shitty parts everywhere we go. And thirdly, and the most important thing is. We're all a nation of immigrants. This country is built on the backs of people working, well, not even working, forced into labor. I mean, can we, I mean, we can go from the Indians, you know, let's, let's talk about the, the um, I want to say, is it Tino, Tino, Tino? I hope, I'm, I hope I'm not, if I mispronounce that, I am so sorry. The Tino Indians, I think that's the way you say it. Let's start with that. And how Christopher Columbus, with his Hispanic self, you know, uh, basically massacred a whole tribe of people. And then when he was done with that, he got together with said Africans who were greedy and wanted money and gold. Okay? And sold my descendants and brought us over here. My descendants, I'm going to give you a little history lesson. My ancestors have been in Alabama. Okay? Before it became a state. And Alabama became a state in 1821, I think, or 1819. Something like that. My people have been in Alabama that long. So the very ground that I walk on when I go back home and visit my family of origin, that's mine. Okay? So let's not go into that. And then if you really want to get technical, my grandmother on my father's side was Jewish. She was German-Jewish. Okay, so those are not, you know, the countries that, that, that I hail from, the places that we all hail from are not shitholes. They have shithole places, but that's normal. Okay, this was very unpresidential. This was very undiplomatic. This was very dangerous rhetoric to use. This was hurtful. This was harmful. And granted, I'm happy that Anna Navarro and Mia Love has come out, you know, and, you know, they, they're all mad. But now you see, this man wants nothing to do with you. You are a token. 
This man wants nothing to do with you, Miss Anna, with your Republican ass. He wants nothing to do with you, Miss Mia, with your paper bag test, Mormon. Girl, 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 we really could have a sit down, for real, for real, okay? Nothing to do with you. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Nothing. So let's figure that. Let's get that together. But now you want to come out and and oh, he was so mean. Okay, but you're part of the issue. You're the reason why he's in he's in that powerful seat. You're the reason why the Congress is the way it is. You're part of the problem. But because it's affecting your shit and it's knocking at your door, you don't care. Now, oh, excuse me. Now you want to say something. Now you want to come out and talk and, oh my God, I can't believe it. You know, and don't get me wrong. I'm I'm proud of, of, of Anna and Mia for coming out. Mia Love, she's a, a Republican, a Haitian congresswoman, congresswoman uh, from in, f who represents Utah. She's a senator, I'm sorry. Um, and then we all we know who Anna Navarro is. But let's go all the way back. I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to buy into that. Oh, what are they coming up? No. They're doing it because it affects them. Now. But people like myself, who are black, who are gay, who are, you know, disabled, who are, you know, of a minority religion. Uh, we've been dealing with this shit for years. And we've been telling y'all for the past two years, this man is crazy. This man is fuck nuts. This man is going to get us all in trouble. We have been saying that for the past two years. And what have you been doing? Nothing. Yeah, you can call him out on CNN, but that's not enough. That is not enough. And like I said, and I'm going to say it again because it bears repeating, the rhetoric that he, that he spout out was dangerous. That's going to get us in trouble. It's going to bite us in our asses. And when we and, and and what gets me is this right here. I just have to say this. So you know, Africa, Haiti, Venezuela, these are all shithole countries, as he claimed they are. You know, but you don't mind getting your diamonds from them. You don't mind getting your clothes from them. You don't mind getting your food or having your food picked from Venezuelan, you know, migrant workers, or having your food shipped over from Africa, you know, or Haiti. You know, a lot of the food that we eat that comes to our tables are from those countries. You see? But you don't, but see, he's not thinking that. Because that affects us. So I, I, I just don't understand that. I, I think that this is undiplomatic. And I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't care if it was Bernie. I wouldn't care if it was Hillary. I wouldn't care if it was Michelle or Barack or even Oprah. Okay? When you say something idiotic and undiplomatic, you deserve to get your hand chopped off. I'm sorry. You deserve to be called out. As my mother used to say, right is right and wrong is wrong. So that's all I had to say on that. Um, because I just feel that, that he was wrong in that. He was absolutely wrong. And that, like I said, and I'm going to say it again, it bears repeating. That's going to get us in a lot of trouble. And I'm and I'm very I'm not surprised, but I'm very upset. I'm very pissed off. And I'm very sad that this man continues to divide us like this. And makes people of color feel like they are less than dirt. Because no, I am not African, but I am of African descent. I'm probably of Haitian descent too. If I go back far enough, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. I don't care what blood is in my veins. It don't matter. People are people. And it's all about human decency and respect. And this man has none of that. Because I, I can't imagine George W. Bush, another Republican, I might add, saying something like this. George W. Bush was not the most, he wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. But he wasn't this crazy. So, that's all I had to say. Leave your comments below, and we will talk soon. Love you. Bye-bye.